Are you sending cold emails using Instantly or Smartlead? Well, if so, stop your campaigns until you watch this video, because there's one automation that you need to build now, and I guarantee that 99% of you do not already have this set up. It's not gonna cost you any money, and you can build it in under 30 minutes. In fact, if you watch until the end, I'm just gonna give you the link to import mine into your system. Now, in case you've been living under a dinosaur egg, I'm Lead Gen J, and my Inc. 5000 agency does 600K a month in revenue, all using cold email. I've personally built over 400 cold email machines, and I run the largest community for cold email. All right, now let me share my screen and walk you through this automation. Here's the automation that we're gonna be building step-by-step. Step. Now it all starts with a few different softwares. You're gonna need a cold email sending tool like Instantly or Smartlead or Reach Inbox. You're gonna need a way to create automations either with Make, N8N or Zapier. We're gonna be using Make for this example, but you can copy this in any of the other platforms. And that's it, that's all you're gonna need. Let's go ahead and set this thing up. So the purpose of this automation, before we actually dive into setting it up step by step, is to make sure that none of your precious cold email replies get wasted. So the purpose of this automation is to show you how to notify your team when a new reply comes in, research the prospect that you're replying to so you can get back to them quicker with a more personalized response. And I'm even gonna take it a step further and show you how to generate AI replies all in an automated way. All right, now step one of this video is we need to generate a webhook. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with what a webhook is, a webhook is just a URL that catches information. And on any of these platforms, Zapier, Make, or N8N, it's one of the most common triggers. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new scenario here, and we're going to add a webhook trigger. We're gonna make it a custom webhook, and then we're going to click Add and create a new webhook to catch from. Just click add, call it something unique, and then hit save. It's then gonna give you this URL. This is now your webhook URL. We're gonna copy to clipboard, go into Instantly AI. We're gonna come into your settings. We're gonna go into your integrations. We're gonna come into webhooks. This is gonna be very similar, by the way, on Reach Inbox or Smartlead. Now from here, we're going to add a webhook. This gives us a lot more fine-tuned control over the information that flows. You can paste your webhook URL right here and then select the events that you wanna send these webhooks through. Now, if you've got a small team and you trust that Instantly AI is doing a good job categorizing most conversations as interested or not interested, then you might only wanna send through interested replies. If you wanna get a little bit more advanced, you can do any reply received, and that way you can categorize them yourself and gather even more data. But for the purposes of this, for 99% of you, Lead is marked as interested is a good enough trigger. For campaign, you're gonna to wanna to select all campaigns. That way you're catching data from every different direction and no matter what new campaign you launch, this is still going to work. Then we're gonna click add webhook. Webhook's been added and now anytime instantly categorizes somebody as interested, it's going to fire and this is what you're going to see. It's gonna come through with whatever data instantly has about that lead and about that response. So in this case, it's got their name, their author name, the timestamp, the campaign ID, campaign name, and it's even got what they said in their reply. So now I can do a lot of really cool stuff with this. So let's walk through what I'm actually going to do with this information that somebody just replied and they're interested. Now step one is actually using a tool called Perplexity. Now if you're unfamiliar with Perplexity, it's one of my favorite AI platforms, and the reason for it is it will actually go out into the internet, do research for you and come back with, with an answer. Whereas ChatGPT will not do that in here. You can get it to do that when you're interacting with ChatGPT on the platform, but not within this automation. Now for any of these platforms, you will have to have an API key. So for, for Perplexity AI, you'll just go to the website, you'll click on settings, you'll go to API keys, and you'll just create a key. You will need a billing method attached, and then it's gonna give you an API key. Mine's gonna be blurred out so you don't steal it. And now you can start sending data to Perplexity. We're using the Sonar model, which is their basic model, and it's just gonna do research on this prospect and their company and come back with some basic information about them. You can customize this however you like, but you will have my prompt. If you import my make.com link, it's gonna come with this exact structure and this prompt. All you're gonna have to do is open up a new scenario, 
come into more import blueprint and you're going to get all of my stuff without you having to guess and build this yourself. And I'll show you how to do that towards the end of this video. So some final settings for perplexity. You're going to want to fill out the content and we're going to want to give it as much information as you can about that lead, their company, their name, their website, their LinkedIn, whatever you've got, give it to perplexity and let it do its thing. Role is going to be user, temperature is going to be one, and that's it. You can go ahead and hit save, and that way you're going to get a lot of research on that specific lead. The next thing that I want to do is create an AI response. Now, the simplest way to do this that's going to work for 98% of you is using an open AI assistant. Now, if you're a big fan, you probably already know about my reply JI. This is my much more complex AI reply system that you can build using a lot of the same systems that I'm talking about. Uh, so the link to that's going to be down below, but it is a lot more complex and it's available as a member of my insiders. The other thing available for members of my insiders is make.com 12 months for free on a team's plan. Imagine not having to pay for automations for 12 months. It's really incredible. Uh, if you're a member of the insiders, you get access to this. All right, so let's go ahead and assume that you have an open AI account. You're going to want to create an assistant here and that assistant is just going to be a reply assistant. You'll give it a prompt similar to this. It's going to come in that blueprint that I gave you and you're going to want to import your Q and A's. What objections or questions are your clients going to have? And what are you going to say in response to that? That's going to be your Q and A document. You're going to activate file search and add it as a file inside of this vector store. Those are fancy words for saying go to platform.openai.com, set up an assistant by clicking the drop down and saying create assistant. You're going to name it, give it some system instructions, pick a model, a GPT-40 mini does the job, and then upload the document here. Now you're gonna be able to interact with that inside of make.com. So we're gonna message an assistant. That is going to be the action. And if you wanna add custom stuff, you always can. Just hit add module, go ahead, click open AI, message an assistant. There's a lot of other stuff that you can do, but this is what we're selecting for the purposes of this. And by the way, guys, if you're interested in AI and automation, make sure that you are a member of my free community. There's a lot of exciting resources and trainings for you on this exact topic, but let's go ahead into this step, message an assistant. We're going to choose the assistant we want to interact with. We're going to give it a message and we're going to make sure that it knows the reply text and subject. So everything that that person sent to me in the last message is what we're responding to. Once it has that context, you want to make sure to enable file search, give it the vector store that it's going to be using. If you're unsure where that is, you can go ahead and hover over vector store. This is the ID that you're going to copy right there and then map that same vector store. I like to set the temperature around 0.3 and we're gonna go ahead and save. Now it has access to my Q&A and it knows the last thing this person said to me. So that way it knows what response to generate and give to my salesperson. Now, if you wanna put this full autopilot, you are going to need to join this reply JI. This is how you would do the whole thing on full autopilot. But okay, the next step, we wanna database everything. The more information that we're gathering about our leads and our positive responses, the better. We want to know what industry they're part of. We want to know their job titles. We want to know what campaigns are performing the best. This is the tracking system that I use. I know what campaigns are working, what job titles are working, what states are working. And using that data, I can really figure out what campaigns are drawing the most sales, what job titles are best, what industries are best for me. So what you're going to do is create a step to add a row in your Google Sheets. And you can set up this sheet however you want. Here's a little template that I created for you that will also be available for you in the description date, name, email, phone, website, industry, job title, status. So interested, not interested and campaign. You want to know what campaigns are generating the most for you. So you're going to add a row in Google Sheets, find that spreadsheet ID, and then just map the fields. Now, the final and most important step is to make sure that your team knows that this person just sent a positive reply. The sooner your team responds to that hot lead, the better chance that you are going to have of converting them into a call and into a sale. Speed to lead, it is the truest thing ever in sales. So if you're just relying on instantly to send positive reply notifications, it's not good enough. You wanna give your team all of the weapons necessary to reply to this person as soon as possible. So figure out what reply channel is gonna work best for you. For us, it's email. I send an email to my sales guy with all of this information. So my sales guy is Tyler, new reply received. Here's information about the reply. Here's what he said. Here's research on, this, on the topic and here's an AI reply that we generated for him. And here's the link to go respond. 
Now all he has to do is open up that link. The person from this webhook trigger should be the first one in the Unibox. It should be this guy. Now all he has to do is copy and paste the template reply, modify it if necessary, and now he's gonna be able to reply quicker and better than without this automation setup. That way we're not wasting a single more interested lead. Because guys, cold email is hard enough as it is. Just getting somebody to raise their hand and say, yes, I could potentially be interested in that thing. You need to get a lot of things right. You need the infrastructure set up to not hit spam. You need a good lead list that's verified and you need to make sure that these are actually qualified people to receive your offer. And then you need to get them to take action on an email, which means getting them to open it, read it and respond to it. That's a lot of stuff that needs to go right just to get somebody to raise their hand and say yes. So you cannot waste these people. You need to have this automation set up so that your team is on top of it and converting those interested leads into calls as soon as possible. Now let's go ahead and run this entire automation so that you can see exactly how it works. I'm gonna click run once. I've got a bunch of existing data in there, so it's gonna go ahead and use it. It captured that webhook, so matasat.com. It's doing research on them. Here's the research that it found about this person, their pain points, what sets them apart. It's actually going to the internet and researching their website and their company. It's gonna create an AI response. So it's got a great result here. And I have my bot doing markdown format. So it actually goes through as a real response. We have this inserting the row in Google Sheets. There it is. And then finally, it's sending an email to my sales guy with all of that information intact. So all he has to do is go in there click a link, copy and paste, modify it, and respond to that person. That way you make your sales team's life a lot easier, help them respond quicker, give them all of the tools to help make you money. And golden nugget here, if you're doing cold email as a service, you have clients that you're doing this for, you can use this same automation for all of your clients and it adds a lot of value, helps them respond better and get better results and make money, which helps make you look good. We actually do the same similar thing for all of our clients. And once you get this down, it's super easy to copy and paste to the next client and the next client. And as promised, if you wanna use my blueprint to do that, I'm actually going to go ahead and click export blueprint right now. It's gonna give me this JSON file. And if you wanna download this JSON file, go to the very bottom of this video, scroll all the way down and you'll see a link to go ahead and download that. And then if you wanna import that JSON file into your make.com, you go to scenarios, you'll create a new scenario, and then you'll come into more import blueprint. You're gonna upload that JSON file and it's gonna give you the entire structure. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now just so you can see how that works. There you go. You've got the entire thing inside of your make.com. Again, if you want 12 months free of make.com, make sure to join the insiders program linked down below. And if you're using N8N or Zapier, what I want you to do is step-by-step step, go through each of these and you're just gonna copy the modules and copy the prompts inside of Zapier or N8N. And it should work exactly the same. All right, that's it. I hope this was helpful. Go and implement this automation right now before you start your cold email campaigns again. I promise you, you're gonna convert way more of these interested leads into calls and you're gonna make a lot more money. And speaking of making more money, unless you hate money, you need to be following this channel. So make sure you pound subscribe and hit like so YouTube shows you more videos like this that help you make more money and stop distracting you from anything other than that. And if you're curious about the Reply JI system, I have a quick video on YouTube linked here where you can learn more about it.